Hi everyone, this is Master Matt, and today we're going to be going through the front fall, which is another one of our basic knock bulb techniques involving slapping the ground as we fall forward. Now this technique can be pretty intimidating to beginners because it involves getting your face and your whole body very close to the ground and just using your forearms to break your fall. A question I get a lot is, why can't I just do a front roll when I'm falling forward that feels way more natural and way more comfortable for me? And it's true that it's probably more comfortable for a lot of people, but we practice the front fall with the slap. In the case of, say, you are tripping over something that catches your foot or some attacker is grabbing onto your leg as you fall forward and you're prevented from getting your legs over your body. Well, this front fall is for that case where you can still break your fall uh, without injuring yourself. So let's go through the basics and get started. Now we always start practicing our front fall from the safety of our kneeling position and as I always say, it's important to have soft ground when you're doing this. This is not something you should practice on concrete or anything, especially at the very beginning, um, but that should go without saying. So we're going to start by sitting up on our knees, and we're just going to ease our body forward and resist the urge to try to catch yourself with your wrists. That's not what we're doing here. We're going to be falling all the way forward until we can slap the ground from our elbow to our palm at the same time with both hands in like a diamond shape and that's gonna disperse all of the gravity and energy that we have falling forward. So I'm just gonna let my body go with gravity and slap the ground in front. So you see how my forearms are flat on the ground. We don't wanna have our wrists out and we obviously don't wanna be with our chest on the ground. Now if your arms and your palms are not very well conditioned, uh, you might not be able to practice this too many times in one session. It might start to tear up on your skin a little bit or just be uncomfortable with all the impact that you're taking. But as you build it up, practicing this over time, you should be fine. Now you need to spend a while practicing the front fall in this kneeling position just to get your timing down and just to have the comfort level there and just to have it part of your muscle memory. Um, because as we progress to the more advanced uh, positions, if you have any issues in this basic safe position, then those issues might evolve into some form of injuries and you, you want to avoid that. But when you feel like you're ready for the next step, we're gonna get onto our toes here. We're still gonna be in a squatting position because we wanna stay close to the ground and take away as much of that gravitational force as we can. Um, but what we're gonna be doing here is kind of like hopping into our, into our break fall. And when we do this, we're gonna throw our legs back behind us. Our arms are gonna do the same thing, but now our legs are gonna be part of the break fall. So what they're gonna be doing as I jump forward is they're gonna jump behind me and I'm gonna open them out into like a split position to more disperse my energy. And I wanna be landing on my toes. Obviously my feet are not gonna be taking a lot of this impact because I'm falling forward and it's gonna be mostly through my upper body, but our legs are gonna be there um, for our support. So what I do from this kneeling position is I'm just gonna jump. I don't wanna jump super high. I'm just gonna kind of jump out and then sprawl my body out as I, as I go into my break fall. And again, from the side angle, so I'm gonna jump out, forward, and then open my legs behind me. The message is the same here. You wanna spend a lot of time in this step and let this become your standard, your muscle memory. And only when you feel super comfortable is when you make it harder. And to do that, we're gonna stay in this position, but we're just gonna kind of give ourselves a little bit more air. So we're coming up higher therefore falling a little bit harder. But if your technique is sound, then you shouldn't have anything to worry about. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, instead of just jumping out, I'm gonna jump a little bit up and into my front fall. Now when you finally feel comfortable enough to get into your standing position, and again, I'm gonna stress, it's very important to take this step by step, so don't rush into any of these positions. But once you're able to do it from standing, we're gonna do it kinda like we did when, when we were kneeling, by just falling forward and easing our body onto the ground in front of us. We can kind of bend our knees and reach out in front of us here. And once you've calibrated yourself to understand how high off the ground you actually are, then you can throw in the jump and the same principle is gonna apply from when you were on your knees. You're just gonna be jumping from the, the ground and you're bringing your knees out behind you and dropping into your front fall. And one more time from the side angle. And again, that is our front fall. It is one of our basic knock bulb techniques but it is very difficult to master and it takes a lot of time. So as I've been saying the whole video, take your time 
with each movement in this, in this technique before you build up to something that could hurt you. These techniques are great and important and necessary to practice in your Hapkido training, but more importantly, just in everyday general life, um, it's, it's nice to have this as a peace of mind, as a safeguard um, for whatever situation may come up where you don't have to think about what you're gonna do because your body already has it programmed and you've already practiced what you're gonna do from any angle, falling forward, sideways, backwards, being pushed or pulled, or what have you. But as always, keep up the hard work, stay safe. Thank you guys for watching and keep training.